can't play error code 0xc1010be. In this video, we are going to see how to fix this error with three methods. So if the first one doesn't work, the other two maybe will work for you. Let's get into it. Method 1. Installing AV1 extension. So we go here to the start menu and write Microsoft Store. And we go to Microsoft Store. And now we write here AV1 video extension. And we click this one. Okay, now we click install. And installing is completed. Now the problem should be fixed. If not, follow me to the next method. Method 2. In this method, we go on to download HEVC video extension. So all you have to do is to go to Google, search for HEVC video extension download. And then this uh, one appears. It says freecodex.com. You click on that. It takes you to this page. And from this page, you click on download. And if you click on download, it takes you to this page. And in this page, you choose between two. This one is for uh, this is the latest one. So yeah, you should see the numbers here and see the latest version. So we have, have to make sure you download the latest version. So this one is for 64 bit. And if you, you don't have 64 bit CPU, then you should download this one. This one up here. Anyways, I downloaded this one and once you do that, you go to your downloads folder or uh, in your browser and you find this one, HEVC. So you click on that and this one appears. You just click install. And now it's installing. When it's done, the problem should be fixed and you should uh, play the video that gives you that ear if that doesn't work let's go to the next and last one now this is the last method and i'm gonna tell you that it has two two sides you either uh, find a video converter online or you use vlc vlc is the safest safest option so you can uh, download it uh, securely and uh, it's very popular application so all you have to do is to google it and uh, search for how to convert with vlc but uh, but it's gonna take time if i continue this in this video so if you want to do that just make sure to google that on google or youtube too otherwise you can find a video converter online just make sure you don't go to the malicious websites that uh, asks you to download stuff that you, you shouldn't be downloading. So yeah, be careful. And that's it for today's. I hope you enjoyed and learned something today. Like this video if you like it. See ya.